Good morning, family. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Welcome once again. The Lord richly bless you. Good day if you're watching this video in the afternoon or good evening to you. The Lord richly bless you in Jesus' mighty name. And if you are coming in for the first time, this is Chantal Ikabe. I'm always here to pray with you and to share God's word with you. Um, I want to share a word that the Lord laid so strong on my heart concerning the month of November 2023. Um, this word came so clearly to me and I'm sharing this because I want us to get ready I want us to be prepared. I believe that when God releases a prophetic word When he gives a message to the body of Christ it's because he wants to get them ready for what is coming for what is ahead He also wants to speak to them to let them know his mind in that season So it's a privilege for us to receive what's from the Lord for the Lord to speak to us in preparation of what is coming hallelujah now always ask you to take these words back to the lord in prayers take every word you hear back to him in prayers pray about those words let him also speak to you clearly and confirm them to you now let's get straight into the word father we thank you jesus we thank you holy spirit have your way and release your word as only you can and be praised in jesus mighty name amen i saw the lord in preparing us for a coming increase a coming increase in the prices of certain products not every product it was specific in the prices of certain products now this is not something that is new this is something that usually happens we have seen that the lord is inflation going on but the reason why the Lord showed this at this time, the reason why he revealed it is because he wants us to get ready specifically about food, about food. There will be some certain items that will become very expensive and this is deliberate. This is not something that just happened by chance. It is deliberate. He said the reason why he showed this to me is because he wants his children not to enter into waste not to get into waste he said there's a spirit there's a force that has been assigned to bring forth waste in the lives of god's people even in the world and the lord is saying that he doesn't want us to get into that and you will not be a part of what the enemy is planning in the name of jesus and his wisdom will also lead and guide you towards managing your finances in a proper way in the way that god wants you to and in a way that is going to bless you hallelujah in a way that is going to help you the lord gave me these words in part i'm gonna ask that you go back to him pray about this i believe so strong on my heart that he will speak to you concerning this the second thing the lord showed to me is his grace is his grace the grace God is going to release is going to be very, very unusual. And this is because we need his grace more than ever before. I see people growing in grace, great grace added onto the body of Christ. I saw it so clear. And God is giving us that grace because it's very much needed in this time and in this season. A lot of us will find ourselves escaping certain things, traps, setups, situations. It is that grace speaking for you. It's that grace working for you. A lot of us will find ourselves being blessed, put in places that we never expected. It is that grace speaking for you. His favor speaking for you. I saw that happening so clear. Now, what your efforts cannot do for you, what your power cannot do, do for you, His grace will step in it will speak for you it will work for you i saw the release of grace he said to me there are people who need grace my body need grace grace to stand grace to stand and grace to keep going grace to continue to do the work of god to do the assignment that god has called you to do that grace will multiply over you it will increase in your life in the name of Jesus. A lot of us, we need this grace to cross over to the new year, to step into January 2024. That grace will rest mightily upon you. You will find yourself increasing bountifully in grace. The next thing the Lord spoke to me about was attacks. And this has to do with kingdom marriages. Kingdom marriages. I saw two people, this was very specific, two people whom the Lord has blessed so much and has brought together. 
I saw them battling and fighting. And I was like, why do I keep seeing? Because this is not the first time I'm seeing this particular vision. And I asked myself why. And the Lord said, he's showing me this so that I can start to pray against attacks on marriages, on homes. To pray against attacks coming to the homes of the children of God. If you're watching this video, you are married or even planning to be married. You're into a relationship. I want your eyes to be open in the spirit. I want you not to look at things with the eyes of the flesh, but with the eyes of the spirit. Whatever comes to your home, whatever comes to you, it may be painful, it may be hurtful, it may be hard, but don't look at it with the eyes of the flesh. Go back to the Lord and seek his face. Pray to him. Ask him for his will. Don't rush. Don't take any decision in haste or in anger. Ask the Lord to help you. Put yourself together and go back to him. Pray about it. Seek his face. And one thing you need more than ever before in this time is patience. Patience. We must learn to be patient. No matter how hard it is, let your will be done. I place your will over mine, Lord, because you know better. Because you have seen the end from the beginning. Because you have a plan for my life. Be vigilant. Hallelujah. If the Lord says, be, you should stay. If the Lord says, walk away, walk away. Be it in a relationship, be it in marriage. Listen to the voice of God. Be open to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. But the Lord has kept us and he will continue to keep us. He will fight for you and I say you receiving the victory. This word is coming for just so that you know what the enemy is planning. But the Lord has already given you the victory. And I see you receiving that victory in your marriage, in your settlement, in the name of Jesus. The peace of the Lord taking over completely. The agenda of the enemy cancelled, scattered. It shall not stand. It shall not prosper in the name of Jesus. And the last thing the Lord showed me clearly was his help. It was great help. Great help. A great light showing appearing a great light there are people who will see a great light they will witness and experience a great light in their lives in this month they will see the light of god ah thank you holy spirit thank you jesus thank you father thank you holy spirit some of us this light is going to appear to us at the point where we need it the most you've been in a dark situation a dark position a dark condition the light will appear it will show forth and the light will equally appear to everyone in the dark who still needs to know jesus welcome jesus in his life and in her life you will see that light it will show up as it did with saul and change his life change his name the bible said there was an encounter he had on his way to damascus jesus encountered him and transformed him i see that same encounter about to happen a light that is about to shine the bible said he shone so bright that the eyes of saul became blind he was not able to see the light was so much a great light it shall arise isaiah 60 and verse 1 arise shine for your light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you it has come that glory will come and god's help to his people god's help to the body of christ it will come for it will show up more than you imagine more than you are thinking i saw the help of god I saw the help of God. I don't know the situation you are in right now, but I saw the Lord releasing help in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Help with our spiritual lives, our work with Him. Help in that warfare. Help in the life of your children. Maybe you need His help to raise those children. Help will come. Help in that business, in your career. Unusual help. Supernatural help. In the name of Jesus. And I hear him saying even right now. That what he has started. He will complete it. What he has begun. He will complete it. Trust him. Trust him. Trust him. He's able to finish it. He's able to complete it. 
in the name of Jesus. And one last thing before I go, I just want to beg on everyone watching that in this season, stand the gap for others, especially the sick. God laid that so strong on my heart, especially the sick. The people that have cancer, breast cancer, stand the gap for them. Pray for them. Pray for those in the hospital. Intercede on behalf of the sick. Pray for others even more than you pray for yourself. And the Lord will richly honor you in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you. If this message blessed you, please go on right now. Share with someone. God is sending this as a preparation. Share with a friend. Share with a family member. Share with a loved one. And the Lord bless you as you do that in Jesus' mighty name. Also, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you are new. You're welcome to join the family. I love you. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. Stay hopeful. And I hope to see you in another one by His special grace.